This is our color hunt project. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the different hue families. I'm talking about red, yellow, orange, green, blue, and violet. And we're gonna collect objects from around our house and start to evaluate them based on color temperature, value, and saturation. So what I have here is six pieces of uh, tape that I've actually labeled with warm, cool, value, plus, minus, saturation, plus, minus. So I'm gonna start with the yellow hue family. And the two objects I have here, so I have this lemon and then I have this dish towel. Now the first thing I'm gonna ask myself when I look at these properties is color temperature. And we're gonna use the analogy that we talk about in class all the time. If I walked into a room and the walls, the ceiling and the floor were painted all of this color, am I gonna feel warm or am I gonna feel cool? We generally determine yellow to be a warm color, but if we judge yellow against other yellows, we're gonna find out that one actually is cool and the other one is warm, and that's gonna help us when we get to mixing pigment. So right now it's a freezing cold day, and I'm shivering and I need to feel warm. Am I gonna go into this color, or am I gonna go into this color to warm out? Opposite side, it's a hot summer day, and I want some air conditioning, I'm sweating. Am I gonna go into this yellow, or am I gonna pop into this yellow? The lemon is our warmer yellow. That lemon actually starts to lean towards red. So what I'm gonna do, I take my piece of paper, it says warm, and I'm gonna tape it either on the object or below it. Then conversely, I'm gonna put my cool. Next thing I'm gonna do saturation. When we talk about saturation, I'm gonna say, how intense is the chroma in that color? How intense is that color? So if I look at these two, I'm determined that this is the higher saturation. My lemon is a higher saturation. I'm gonna pop that piece of tape with the plus underneath. My dish rag is the lower saturation of these colors. Now we have value. In value, we have the tendency to talk about as light and dark, but we're gonna talk about value as either being high or low. The analogy we can use is that if uh, the, the sun is high in the sky, there's gonna be a lot of light, right? So I have, I have my lighter value here is gonna be my higher number, my higher value. My dish towel is lighter, right, than my lemon is. I'm gonna put my value plus, my higher value, sun is higher in the sky, and my lemon is gonna be my lower value. We're gonna turn around, right? We're gonna take a picture of these objects with your pieces of tape as they are labeled, and you're gonna upload that to your shared folder. When you take your picture, ideally try to get something that's a neutral background. If you have a white tablecloth that works, uh, if you take your cutting mat, flip it over to the black side or the gray side, that will work too. I also want you to take your pictures clean. So let's make sure that nothing else is in the shot and you're gonna take it from overhead. We don't want any side shots of these objects. We're doing all hue families, red, yellow, orange, green, blue, and violet. So if you need the written instruction on this assignment, you're gonna turn around. Underneath in the comment section, there's actually a link to the blog.